Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's build, we are building a new crest, which I feel like it's been maybe just a few weeks since I've built a new crest. I feel like I've been experimenting with some different worlds recently that I don't typically build in. I'm not typically drawn to a lot of these other worlds. I tend to like to build like little suburban homes or these little like uh, craftsman -y style homes. So that is kind of what we're doing today. I mean, this is definitely a suburban style home and Newcrest, in my opinion, is perfect for that. Of course, this world comes empty, but so you can, you know, you can make it how you want, but I decided to go more suburban, so it's almost like another Willow Creek, but Willow Creek is a little bit more traditional and like semi-Victorian, so this is definitely a lot more suburban, but as you can see, we are building here on the lot called Highland, no, Hillside Highlands it is a 30 by 20 lot, and if you decide to download this build off of the gallery and place it on this lot, it will cost you 65,304 simoleons. So if you do want to download this off the gallery, you can do so, and you can find it under my EA ID, which is Ashley Angelina, spelt with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. You can also find it under my hashtag Ashley Angelina, spelt the same, spelt with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. But this ends up being a two bedroom, two and a half bathroom home with a detached garage. As you can see, that's what that little structure is off to the right of the lot. I just love a good detached garage. I just feel like it just gives the house so much more character. And a lot of the times it just makes, I don't know, in my opinion, it just makes the build come off as like, you know, this house has been here for a while. I feel like detached garages aren't really very much so like a modern day thing anymore. Um, so I wanted it to give off this like very like older home characteristic. But as you can see, this home doesn't look outdated or old or anything like that. It does look rather clean and crisp. Like it maybe has some fresh paint, some fresh roofing, all that good stuff on it. So that's what we went for here. But this home, I was originally thinking I was going to make it a base game build, but I don't know. I ended up kind of leaning a little bit, bit more toward like an eco lifestyle kind of lifestyle for the Sims that I imagine living here, especially in the garage. So I'll get into that. We do end up placing some solar panels on the roof, I think toward the very end of the build. So there's two solar panels here and we end up placing some gardening pots out back. We do end up placing some outdoor lounging and dining for your Sims to, you know, have a nice meal outside on a nice warm day and they can relax under the umbrella. So I do use some seasons here as well. And there's monkey bars back there. I was imagining up to two child Sims or maybe like a child and a teen live here. Um, so I place some monkey bars out in the backyard. And then there's a laundry room inside the house, which is right off the kitchen. We'll get to that shortly. And then in the detached garage, like I mentioned, I do end up placing that recycler. I really don't know what it's called. It's like the trash compactor that your Sims can use. And then I place a juice fizzing machine and a garage sale table. So lots of eco lifestyle here. Um, you could totally have this build without eco lifestyle. Like I don't use really any eco lifestyle furniture. I think I use a console table from there. But other than that, all the other like eco lifestyle items are all activities that are mostly just in the garage. So you could totally ha not have eco lifestyle and still have a pretty functional house. You would just need to replace those items, obviously. But I don't know. I was just thinking that the Sims that live here is probably consists of two parents. And I was thinking up to two, two child Sims. That could be consisting of literally two kids, a kid and a toddler, a toddler and a teen, whatever combination you feel. But when I play tested here, I actually created a family specifically for this house. And I just had it be a family of two parents, a child, and a cat. So we do end up placing some pet related items here as well, cat related specifically. There's a cat litter box in the downstairs half bath and a cat scratcher in the living room near a bookcase that we end up placing. But there is a set of bunk beds in the child's bedroom, which I feel like growing up, I had a couple of friends that had a bunk bed, even though they had their own room. Like it was just kind of a nice thing to have. Like maybe one year for Christmas, they just really wanted a bunk bed. And then it's something that they could potentially grow into. 
um, assuming it is like a lofted bunk bed or a bank, a bunk bed that you can change into a lofted one. So I actually had a friend across the street. She was one of my best friends for the longest time. She had that and she used to sleep on the futon down below, but then she got back problems like in middle school, which is obviously not good. You're like way too young to have back problems at that age. So she ended up sleeping on the top bunk, got like a nice mattress for up there and then had this little like nook area down there. I think she had her desk down there or she maybe kept the food on down there and kept it as like a little seating area for her friends and stuff but I mean it's just something that I personally feel your sims can grow into and like I said growing up I feel like I had a couple of other friends too that had a bunk bed even though they had their own room like they didn't share with a sibling or anything I just thought it was kind of cute and I haven't utilized bunk beds in a little while I don't think so that's what we went for upstairs in the child's bedroom and as you can see, we're using quite a bit of Dream Home Decorator down here. We use the Dream Home Decorator rug and uh, modular furniture, the modular sectionals, I guess. And we're using some new tile here from Decor to the Max kit. So I feel like this kitchen is a little bit, um, I don't want to say... I need to find the right word, but I feel like it doesn't totally match with the rest of the downstairs. I guess it's just a little bit more bold is what I'm trying to say. It's a little bit bold for this living room. And since it is an open floor plan, as you can see, I was afraid that it would clash, but I think they're far enough apart where they don't really clash. Like the colors are pretty similar. Like we do have some yellow in the tile on the floor as well as on the actual like backsplash portion of the kitchen. And then we also have yellow in the living room too, like on the rug. And then I placed this yellow box, like set of boxes also from Dream Home Decorator um, in a yellow swatch there. So sorry, I'm like a little out of breath. I literally just had to run downstairs and move my car really quick because we have some like contractors here and they're redoing my in-laws front yard. So I had to run down the stairs, move my car, get back up here, run back up the stairs <laughs> And I'm out of breath, of course, so hopefully you guys don't hear any noises outside construction-wise. I think I'm far enough from the actual site of construction, so you guys shouldn't be able to hear it, but my sound quality is definitely way better this week than it was last week. If you guys um, watched last week's build, then I apologize, but I also thank you and commend you for watching it. Even if you just stuck around for a couple minutes, I completely understand. Like, all the noises was definitely very unnecessary and a bit unprofessional, but it was just something I had to do in order to get my video out on time. But with that being said, talking about getting videos out on time. So, obviously, if you have been around on my channel for a while then you know that I typically will upload my videos on Mondays and I will typically upload my screenshots to Instagram on Mondays and sometimes I'll also upload them on like Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Just kind of depends how many screenshots I have and what day I ended up posting my video. But lately I've been slacking, at least I feel like I've been slacking on posting on time. I used to post fairly early in the mornings. I live on the west coast so pacific standard time is when i would post i would post right around like seven eight o'clock in the mornings i would usually have my video like all ready to go for the morning i would have it all scheduled out and everything but lately that has not been the case i have not been able to like i don't know i just feel like i've been late and I typically will upload by Monday, but it's just not as early as I'd like, and I just feel very behind recently. I just feel like I have a lot going on in my personal life, like I'm pregnant, I'm dealing with, like we're going to be moving here pretty soon, and just like I'm still working full time, so there's just like a lot of things going on in my own life, but I still love this channel, and I want to give you guys the content that this channel deserves, so that's why I feel a bit guilty not being able to always post on time. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start posting still just once a week, but there's not going to be like a full like set day. So I'm still, th I think I'm still going to aim for Mondays just because it has worked out so well for me for a while, but 
I think ultimately I'll probably not always post on Mondays and then say for example I post like today on a Thursday I probably won't post again until like Tuesday or Wednesday just because I feel like Thursday and Monday are like kind of close-ish. So we'll see. I'm really just playing it by ear and I don't want to not be posting once a week because I have been able to stick to that portion of the schedule this entire year or so that I've had this channel. So I don't want to give that up and I do really enjoy building. So I don't want to give that up at all and I again I still don't know if I'm going to be taking a proper break once I do have my baby. I will take off at least a month but I'm not entirely sure if that will change my schedule. If I'll be able to upload you know maybe once every couple of weeks in the beginning or if I will have to take a longer break than just a month. Um, I'm really just trying to figure that out and I think I'll honestly probably figure it out as we go along, but I'll definitely try to keep you guys posted, so make sure to follow me over on Instagram. That's probably where I'll post more of like my updates, so if you want to do that, you can follow me over there. My name is Ashley Angelina, spelled with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. It is the exact same spelling as my EAID, so if you already have that in mind or you already follow me over there, then, you know, just look me up the same over on Instagram, but I rambled through decorating and furnishing the parents' bedroom and their bathroom, so I apologize for that, but as you probably saw, lots of dream home decorator, and we are now in the child's bedroom, and in here, there's a, a I'd say a pretty good mix of tiny living and dream home decorator. So the bunk bed, the top bunk is from dream home decorator as well as like the actual bed frame. And then the bed below that is tiny living as well as the desk and the little dresser here. And then I just clutter it up with some cute kid clutter. We place some bookshelves up on the wall, which I believe are from the nifty knitting pack or Tiny Living. I think it's Nifty Knitting. I can't see the logo from here, but yeah, I think it ends up looking really cute. Again, it's um, lots of yellow and blue. That tends to be a theme in a lot of my builds for whatever reason. I don't know if it's just because there's lots and blue, lots of blue and yellow swatches available in The Sims, or if there's just lots of furniture and items that are both blue and yellow like as you can see the dresser obviously from tiny living is blue and yellow so i don't know if it's just that i like that like that color combination or if i'm just drawn to it because there's lots of things that i can work with that are those swatches and they're like similar enough to where i can kind of like mix and match pack packs i almost said patches <laughs> um i'm not really sure but it tends to be a theme in my builds for whatever reason but now we are decorating the child sims bathroom this is the upstairs bathroom it is not attached to her room but that would typically be the room that she would probably use or if she had a sibling that would be the bathroom that those sims would use and then most likely the parents would just use their own bathroom and then any guests that are visiting would probably utilize the bathroom downstairs because it is a half bath. So I'm assuming your guests that are coming over for a party or for dinner one day or just to hang out probably aren't going to be showering. So I figured a half bath is perfectly fine down there. And now we're just moving on to some landscaping. So we placed down some terrain paint. I am pretty happy with the terrain paint. I often tend to struggle with terrain paint and just landscaping in general. Like doing and like creating like a nice outdoor space for my sims and for my builds is not my forte at all. I'm definitely way better at decorating and I can be pretty good about like putting together a floor plan. Like I will say and give myself a pat on the back on this one that this floor plan for this house turned out really well. I did not follow a blueprint or like any specific inspo photo. Um, so I was actually pretty happy it came together pretty quickly, which is not really a theme for me. I tend to struggle a lot with <laughs> figuring out a proper floor plan that I feel comfortable and proud of. So we did pretty well here on this build. I am very proud of it. I think you guys will really like the screenshots. This house is just so adorable to me. I would live in it myself. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but I mean, it would be a great starter home for sure. And you could totally have your Sims grow into it. Like I said, we, and 
as you saw, we have a bunk bed upstairs. So you could easily fit two Sims in there. If you wanted to do some kind of like tiny home challenge or something here, it definitely doesn't fit into even a tier three tiny home. But if you wanted to like challenge yourself and have like, you know, eight Sims living here, for example, you could probably make it work. I think especially if you got rid of the modular sectional from Dream Home Decorator and replaced it with like a tiny living Murphy bed or something in the living room, you could definitely add way more Sims here and you could utilize this entire garage space for even more Sims. So there's lots of possibilities here, but Again, I think it works well for like, I don't know, up to four Sims comfortably, but I just love this home. And if I saw it in real life, I would definitely consider wanting to live in it. Um, it is very adorable and it has a pretty decent backyard space. And again, I love a nice detached garage. So I just think it's so charming. But we end up placing, like I mentioned earlier, some outdoor dining. So there is this outdoor table space here where your Sims maybe can enjoy some food together, whether it's just like a family dinner or, you know, a quick little meal before your Sim goes off to school or work or whatever their situation may be. But we do end up only having a dining table outside. There's no dining table inside. There is bar seating for three Sims. So really maybe just three Sims would work well here, but I feel like a lot of the times your Sims don't really eat together anyway, unless, you know, they call everyone to have the meal at the same time, but sometimes that doesn't even work. So I wanted to place some additional seating for your Sims to be able to enjoy a meal all together if possible and we're still landscaping we're just placing some gardening pots we do end up placing some of the more square gardening pots the ones that can fit up to four plants in them over on the side of the house and we place some ivy going up the wall or like the exterior of the home it looks really good i definitely struggled with that at first it looked a bit awkward and just not natural but i think i end up pulling it off and making it look pretty good but I believe now we are hopping into the garage. So we do end up placing a little bit of clutter. We place this box of decorations here from Seasons. A lot of the times when I go to play test and take screenshots, depending on what time of year it is, there will be decorations surrounding my entire home. And I'm like, well, this isn't going to work. We are not taking screenshots with their home being decorated for Valentine's Day. Like, I don't know if any of you like go all out and decorating but I feel like it's not very common that people decorate for Valentine's Day and I feel like a lot of the times when I bring my sims to a home or a lot and I get ready for screenshots and play testing it's always decorated for Valentine's Day for whatever reason or in sims we call it love day but I often end up changing the names to like the more traditional names that I'm familiar with like Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving versus Harvest Fest harvest fest i don't even know because i always end up changing them but point being i don't like that so i wanted to place the box of decorations here to make it very easily accessible for me to take down the decorations immediately and be able to start taking screenshots and then we place some cabinets out there and some counter space just so it could maybe look a little bit like a workspace for one of the sims that lives here maybe some like additional storage because I feel like typically that's what a lot of people use their garage for whether they store their car in there or they have you know decorative boxes keepsake boxes just generalized storage I figured would all make sense in the garage and of course like I said we placed the juice fizzing machine the garage sale table and a woodworking bench which I forgot to mention earlier so these sims are probably pretty handy and if maybe they're not handy they're just very self-sufficient and maybe they like to create juices whether they drink them on their own or gift them to friends or they sell them at a garage sale whatever the situation may be they also have that trash compactor and some uh no that's not what i was gonna say i was gonna say floor panels they're called solar panels actually <laughs> up on the roof so i'm thinking that maybe these sims are a little bit more into a green lifestyle and trying to turn their neighborhood into a nice green eco-friendly neighborhood so that's kind of what we went for here but other than that i didn't put too much thought into these sims particular interests necessarily we do have a bookcase in the living room so maybe one of the sims is just really into reading i'm not entirely sure but 
you guys have plenty of options and I think some space to kind of figure out what you want your sims to like but anyway we are coming up on the screenshot so thank you guys so much for sticking around for today's build i hope you do stick around for the screenshots because the exterior of this home is just so cute and charming but anyway make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell so you're aware of when i upload and make sure to follow me on instagram and on the ea gallery so you're up to date on all of my builds and all of my additional screenshots and i hope to see you guys in a future build bye